in this video, I'm going over some of the bones we have in our hand and some of the bones we have in our foot. I have different videos for the carpal bones and the tarsal bones, so please check them out. We have carpals in our hands and that's very easy to remember because we use our hands to drive our car and it's very easy to remember that we have tarsal bones in our foot because T for tarsal, T for toes, so you are set. Now, here are the carpal bones and right here we have the metacarpals. You must number the metacarpals using Roman numerals and you start counting on the thumb side. Now, do you remember the anatomical name for thumb? Pollux. Good job. This is the metacarpal. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, these, all these bones and this are phalanges. Phalanges is the plural. The singular is phalanx. Consequently, since I'll be tagging a single bone, all your answers must say phalanx, not phalanges, okay? Now, look at this. This phalanx right here is the most distant one from the body. Remember the anatomical position, right? That would be like this. So, this is the most distant from the body. Consequently, this is named distal phalanx. All these are distal phalanx. Now, this one is the closest one to the body. Then this is named proximal phalanx. And in between them, you have another phalanx, and that is the middle phalanx. So, you have the distal phalanx, middle phalanx, and proximal phalanx. Look at the thumb. We only have two. Consequently, you only have the one that's the most distant one, distal phalanx, and the one that's the most proximal one, the proximal phalanx. Do you really need to memorize that the thumb, the pollux, has only two phalanges? No, guys. You look at your fingers and you see that they fold twice, but your thumb folds once, which tells you that you have one last bone in your thumb, right? The thumb has only the distal phalanx and the proximal phalanx, while all the other fingers have distal, middle, and proximal phalanx. And the same goes for the phalanges in our toes. You see, you have the most distant ones. They are named distal phalanx. The proximal one is the proximal phalanx and the middle one. The one in between the distal and the proximal is named uh -huh, middle phalanx. Now, the big toe. Do you remember the name for the big toe in anatomy? Hallux. Good job. We have just two phalanges, the distal phalanx and the proximal phalanx. We also have here the metatarsals because these are the tarsal bones. So these are metatarsals and we start counting on the big toe on the hallux side. So we have metatarsal one, two, three, four and five and you are set. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you did and I will see you in the next video. Bye!